I'm going to show you how to start living in your car step by step, just like me and thousands of other nomads, the cheap and easy way. Better yet, you can jump in as soon as possible. Next month, next week, even tomorrow. No more excuses. I'm a disabled nomad that's been living on the road full time for almost three years. I don't have a fancy car or truck. I didn't have a lot of money saved when I began, and I learned everything by doing exactly what I'm going to share in this video. The biggest hurdles that prevent people from actually doing this, instead of just dreaming about it, are... First, they think they need a lot of expensive gadgets, gizmos, and a special vehicle. You don't. Second, they start imagining bad things that could happen on the road, but probably never will. Let's address the first one. You literally need nothing more than a blanket, a pillow, and some basic foods, which you can even bring from home. We need to keep this super, super simple, which I'll get to in a second. Next, don't let fear of the unknown hold you back. You got this. Crime can happen anytime, any place, but the chances of it happening to you or I are very, very slim. After watching this video, I want you to choose two or three days in the near future. It could be a weekend you have off from work, unused vacation days, you get the picture. Then, jot them down and commit to them. Then I want you to make a list of some yummy foods that you can bring along. They need to be simple and non-refrigerated items. Things like bananas, trail mix, peanut butter, bread, canned beans, etc. Again, we need to keep this easy breezy. Now comes the fun part. You need to go to your vehicle, whether that's a small car, SUV, or minivan, and I want you to try folding down your seats in a variety of different ways so you can create a basic sleeping platform. Experimentation is key. Again, all we're looking to do is create a basic sleeping area that's large enough for you to lay down in. That's it. Let's recap. You picked two or three days that you're going to hit the road. You made a list of a few simple foods that you can bring along. And you tried folding your seats down to create a sleeping platform. Congrats! You're 90% of the way there! The final step we need to take isn't that difficult. Just grab your smartphone or pull up your laptop. I want you to search online for any of the following places within a 30 to 60 mile radius of where you live. Cabela's, Cracker Barrel, TA Truck Stop, Pilot or Love's Truck Stop, a well-trafficked highway rest stop, or if you're located in the West, any BLM land. You can find BLM land by visiting this website. All of these places are car camper friendly. And whichever one you choose, it's going to be your home base during your getaway. And best of all, as I promised you in the beginning, all of these places are totally free. Because we don't do expensive campgrounds here on this channel. Let's put the brakes on for a second. We're doing all of this stuff to make it super simple for you to get started. And more importantly, so you could dip your toe in the water before fully committing to this lifestyle on a whim which is definitely not recommended. Either of these three things will happen after you try this. You'll love it, you'll hate it, or you'll be unsure about it. If it's the latter, you could just rinse and repeat and try it again at another time. You're practicing in a non-committed way. All right, you've made it this far. Now comes the hardest part. You have to follow through. I want you to remind yourself why you watch videos like this. And I know you binge watch them because I did the same thing before I started on my journey. You want to experience freedom, traveling, seeing new sights, and meeting different people. You want to live fully. That's the dream, right? If it is, you owe it to yourself to follow through. So look at this as a challenge, one that you're going to ace. Going to the bathroom during your car camping getaway might seem challenging, but it's not. You're going to use any public restroom that you're nearest to. This is exactly how us full-time nomads handle our business. It helps if you have a 24-hour business close by, in case you should get the urge during the wee hours of the morning. That's why I love truck stops. They're always open and safe at all hours. Let's talk privacy. If your vehicle's windows are tinted, That'll be good enough for your short testing trip. 
If they aren't tinted, you can use pillowcases or thin bath towels to cover up at night. Just open your windows, drape the pillowcases along the top, and then put the windows back up. This will lock the sheets in place, creating cheap man's curtains. As for safety, it would be wise to tell a friend or loved one exactly what your plans are and to give them the location of where you'll be staying. But there is a downside to doing this. Oftentimes, important people in our life can sometimes be critical of the choices that we make. This is due to concern issues, jealousy, and a bunch of other factors. Because of this, I'll leave it up to you whether to share your adventure or not. However, I still want you to be safe and to use best practices during your trial run. So do yourself a favor and watch my related video right here, which covers staying stealth and protected while sleeping in public areas.